Hey, this is Jeff Komar. Welcome back to Turbo Tips for S6. In this module, we're going to take a look at expand zones, specifically focusing on knob modules. An expand zone is a way to take the parameters from a traditional channel strip view and splay them out onto a knob module. This gives the operator a predictable way to control EQs, dynamics, sends, or any other type of parameters by borrowing the encoders from the local module within the same bucket. In the previous videos, we explored the idea of creating spill zones on the surface to populate with VCAs, track layouts, and other data. It's also possible to configure knob modules to act as dedicated focus zones. So when attentioning a track either from the channel strip or the master module, this attention zone gets activated to display parameters in an expanded view for EQ, dynamics, or any other function we choose. We're currently looking at the left side of my M40S6, which includes a single knob module as well as a process module. If we press the EQ button on the process module, you can see we have a traditional vertical representation of the parameters. So on this single channel, I can access two bands of EQ at a time before having to page. Expand mode allows us to borrow all of the encoders on the knob module to represent a very predictable EQ model featuring five bands, high pass and low pass filters, plus input and output. This can help accelerate workflow by always presenting the operator with the same parameters in the same place, regardless of the plugin manufacturer. Let's start by allocating a knob module on the surface to use for our dedicated attention zone. From the settings page, choose surface, then touch config, expand, then knob. All of the available knob modules on the surface should light up. Simply touch any encoder on the module to use as the attention zone, then press done. The default soft keys include buttons for enabling and disabling both fader and knob attention zones. If we look at the extras page, which is down on the right side of the automation module, we can press the lower right soft key, also found in the homepage local options, to enable attention expand knob zone. This looks at the attention track, which is currently snare, and automatically displays my chosen function in an expanded view. You can see our view of DMG equality working on the snare, where we have dedicated control when the zone is active. If we toggle the same soft key again, we're effectively suspending the zone and reverting back to the standard channel view where we can see sends for each of our drum tracks. In the previous modules, we talked about spill zones and track layouts. Let's bring up our lead vocal layout by pressing L spill, layouts, and then select lead vox. As you can see, while the zone is active, just by pressing the attention button on any of the vocal channels, we can instantly access dedicated EQ. Let's focus on the hook track which brought up Pro-Q2 from FabFilter. Although a different third-party plugin, the zone offers the same consistent EQ interface for us to tweak and carve. Once a track has been attentioned, you have the ability to quickly swap out the zone for any other parameter type on that track. Let's say we want an expanded view of all the effect sends on our vocal hook. Simply touch a virtual send encoder on the home page, then touch a physical encoder on the attention knob module. We can repeat the same process to access dynamics. Simply touch any green dynamics parameter on the home page, then touch any encoder within the attention zone. Now we have access to the Pro C2 compressor from FabFilter, where the bottom left encoders of the expand zone will always represent threshold and ratio. Again, predictable, color coded, and fast. Within the local preferences for the home page, we can define the function views like EQ and dynamics that we want to automatically display in the zone when a track is attentioned. You can see that the first expand knob function is currently set to show EQ, and the backup function is set to dynamics. So if a track contains a compressor or limiter, but not an EQ, it will still populate the attention zone. When we attention the low octave track, we are immediately presented with green dynamics controls within our expanded attention zone. By simply touching any virtual parameter from the master module homepage, we can display its expanded view on the attention knob module.